continuing on in the same machine room, these are the main machines for the main elevators. He's got the same type of mod, ThyssenKrupp TAC-50 controllers, kept the original machines, did some, you know, color work, making them look better, repainting them. Otis 131HT machines, gearless brush DC motors, so here's the sheave for it, and in here there are grooves that grab, grip around the cable, and those are the cables themselves. See, it's now moving. There's a cooling fan for it. There's the solenoid for the brake. There's the brake pads, and you see in there that shiny thing. That is the brake drum. You can also pretty big um, shaft in there. Beefy stuff. They don't make them like they used to. These machines are over 60 years old. These are workhorses. Apologize for the wind noise, but there's a cooling fan blowing in here. Alright, uh, let me give a brief description of some other parts. Here is a rope lubricator. That is on the cable hanger. I can't take the cover off. It's in action. This is an emergency brake. So this, in here, there's a hydraulic fluid reservoir. There's a hydraulic pump. In the event of an uh, emergency, what it would do, it'll grip those, this pad will grip against there, and it'll stop the rope. So with such force, that'll literally stop the ropes in place. There's other mechanisms, like the, um, the guide rail grippers, if I don't remember the exact term for it with those grip against the guide rails and literally stop the elevator in its tracks. Let's see, Let's give some more description. I'm sorry for not staggering the um, different explanations together. This is the tachometer, tracks the speed. There are your motor brushes, the commutator, the field coils, and there's your armature. And that's your connections. All nicely ran conduits. Very nice work. See, here it goes. That is a weight sensor. See, the force of it going down can actually make the weight fluctuate a bit. That was the brake engaging. Here is the safety governor. This will engage the safeties. So firstly, it trips at 560 feet per minute. Regular speed's 500. So at 560, it'll trip on um, the motor off and the brake. And, and I believe the rope gripper. And then above that, it'll, at 625, in the event of an absolute free fall, it'll trip off the whole thing. And it'll activate the guide rail grippers, stopping the elevator in its tracks. See our other machines, pretty much the same setup we got going on. Otis 131HT, DC brushed gearless. It's nice and cool in here, they got He's we love very powerful air conditioning in here. So these machines make a ton of heat. New stuff is more efficient, but the old stuff will last forever. These controllers are newer, 2010s, TKE TAC 50. See in here, a little status display, Ethernet. Here the contactor engaging, turning on the motor. You can see right here, you can see what port it's on. A good chunk of that humming noise is actually from the drive isolator transformers, which I'll show you right now. Here are the drive isolator transformers. That is where that DC humming you hear comes from. These things are pretty loud. And that high pitch sound is mainly that high pitch sound is mainly the machines and the drive stuff for them. Over here, we got an Ethernet switch. Helps link everything all together to the controllers. Those are the service machines. I filmed those in a separate video. I'm trying to get more detailed videos now. Here, see more machines. 
there are six main cars, three on each side. Very nice equipment. It's very well maintained in here too. Just getting pictures while I'm holding the camera still. Brakes, same, yada yada. Here it goes. See all these brushes, nice and healthy, no arcing or anything, no clicking noises, which indicate worn brushes. Everything's all healthy in here. There you see there's one of the many air conditioners in here. Got a lot of ACs in here. Ethernet search in fire control center room and these elevators have key card readers in them and these are the controllers for the key card readers these are made by Asa Alboy one of the leaders in this hall buttons I believe this is a junction box and these were originally installed in the 60s so over here you over here I'm guessing there would be your DC generators over here. All that other stuff. His own, sorry, I'm sorry for keep cutting off, but these used to be, all the controls for these used to be completely relay logic. Everything used to be relays on these. So those were loud, the DC generators were very loud, inefficient, a lot of heat being produced and unreliable because the relay controllers if you maintain them well they can be reliable but not many techs know how to s proficiently how to repair them nowadays as um, so many techs have been retiring that used to know those relay controllers like the back of their head they're all most of them are retired now and new techs yeah they're trained on those but it's fairly limited how much they are and that is, and also um, the parts. Parts is another main reason they get modernized. See, so here's the big boy air conditioner. Nice and cold air. Here's the little auxiliary unit. And yes, the air is just blowing back in here to hot air. It's going straight to the air intake unit of that unit. The only point of this blowing some nice cold air directly over here where we need it and that that can in that I believe that's the destination manager all right let's take a look at these controllers TKE TAC 50 made in USA nice This one has all the brush covers off of it um, for the high voltage bar. So you do not want to touch that. So you touch that, thrown back and killed. Here, oh, I'm now doing the service elevators too in this video. I'm sorry, but I guess we'll combine them. It's another air conditioner. Ice cold air blowing out, nice and cold over here. Tack 50. This is 131HT machine, 500 feet per minute. Here is 155HT, same speed, just a bigger elevator. Larger capacity, bigger motor. That's the direct next step up. The next step up, up above 15HT is 219HT. Above that, 269HT, 339HT. I believe that's the biggest Otis used to make. Here is your box that connects with TKE so that they can monitor these and see the status on them. Let's get a look back there. Uh, get the flashlight on. You see in the bottom that is the DC drive. Right. In here, now it's 
look in here. Be very careful in stuff like this. A lot of high voltage arc flash hazards. Very careful. Here is your DC drive, Magnatech CCD412. There's the contactor, ABB. That is what the inside the DC drive looks like. That's for S10, so that's actually the biggest drive you'll find in here. So it's a larger machine. All the other machines are 155 HP. 131, I'm sorry. S3, another TAC 50. Let's see. Let's see the speed it's going. See what floor it's on. And those are the machines for your three service cars. They are destination dispatch. Over there, that is your Ethernet switches. So these run your power over Ethernet, it means power and data is transferred over the exact same cable to all the destination dispatch hall screens. And what those, the reason you touch outside the elevator, destination dispatch, it improves efficiency. It groups people together for, for the floors closest. It improves efficiency and it's very important when you're at a busy hotel like this and everyone and um, service elevators got employees running up non-stop rooms need to be cleaned. This is really cool machine room besides the fact is 500 feet a minute, 2.5 meters a second. I don't know if you saw that very clearly, but that was the brake engaging. More drive isolator transformers, really dope stuff. You see, nice and cool in here, 74 degrees. All right, now sadly, that will be about it.